Hi guys! I know it's been a really, really long time, like six or seven months since I've done a video and I wanted to just come on here and just kind of catch up with you guys. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of crafting in the last few months. Um, basically, yeah, like the last six or seven months I haven't done a whole lot, but I wanted to share a little bit of what I have been doing and a little bit of a couple of things that I've bought. Um, I'm not going to go into detail of why I have been gone. Um, I've just been kind of going through uh, kind of a rough time in my life lately and um, we're on the right path to, you know, things are much, much better now and I don't want any of you guys to worry about anything, like I'm okay, my family's okay, um, you know, like baby's okay, kids are okay, hubby's okay, you know, everything, but just kind of life in general stuff that happens sometimes. Um, so yeah, um, and pardon the mess, this is my scrap room and there's probably a really bad echo in the video, but um, we are moving again, so, because our lease is up at the end of the month, so um, anyway, so most of my stuff is packed, but I just wanted to share some of the stuff. So I was in Colorado for um, since January and then I came back at the beginning of this month and um, so I didn't have a lot of craft supplies with me. Um, sorry about that. Um, but the one thing that I did continue to do was um, write in my Coco Daisy, Daisy Dory um, things and I'll share a couple of those. Let's see here. So, let's see. I have January's, and they all look the same on the outside, but the insides are different. And what I started doing at the beginning of the year was doing the uh, Lister's Got a List challenges. And so, um, that's kind of what I started using these for. Um, and then it's kind of evolved into something totally different, but um, like this one is one of my favorite pages in this book. Um, and really there's not, like there's stickers and stuff, um, but mostly it's, and I still have blank pages in here, like I don't pressure myself to fill up everything. But it's mainly stickers and pen um, is really mostly mostly what I did in here. So it's really, really simple stuff. Um, but yeah, so anyway, there's January and then February. Um, again, I just kind of continued the Lister's Got a List little thing. And you know, sometimes I'll put little stickers or things like that, but for the most part, it's just pen. Um, so yeah, I just, like, <laughs> this one was a few of my favorite things, and I actually have like a million things. Um, I don't even know, like I have pages and pages and pages of things that I, I love. I think, let's see, 106 favorite things in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've continued to do that. I, um, while I was gone, I made my own little... I had my like faux dory, but I recovered it with this really cute fabric because here in Utah we don't have a Hobby Lobby near me, and so when I was in Colorado they had a Hobby Lobby and I was able to get my hands on this really cute fabric. So in here I have, let's see, March, April, and May um, little things, and here is, this is kind of, in March is where I kind of started. Um, using these books as encouragement for myself. Um, I know that kind of might sound weird, but like I said, I was going through kind of a hard time and um, what I ended up doing is just writing down quotes or Bible verses or whatever little thoughts Maybe I heard them on the radio or, you know, just different things. Um, sometimes there were prayers that I wrote in here. Um, just lots of little things. 
Sometimes I'll doodle, sometimes I will add stickers. Um, but yeah, and like sometimes I would put like sermon notes in here. If something like stuck out to me, um, I would stick that in here. Um, and like a lot of times it's not pretty. Like it's literally just me writing really fast in my ugly handwriting that's sometimes legible, sometimes not. Um, but writing became a huge, huge part of helping me get through things. And to this day, I still write a lot. When I was a teenager, I used to write a lot, but um, I kind of quit for a long time. And then during this time in my life, it just was a really nice outlet for me to just kind of write out my feelings and just kind of get them out of me. And so um, what I actually did was I started um, an email, a new email, and I would email, my, bleh, email myself because I don't always have these little books with me where I can write down. And honestly, if I, I, I got to where I was writing in a notebook, but I was filling up notebooks like crazy. And um, honestly, I kind of was like, okay, I don't want to actually write this, but my phone is always with me. So I can, if I have just a random thought in the day or something that I want to write down, I can just shoot myself an email really quick. It's super simple and it helps me to process things. So um, so yeah, that was March and then April. I just kind of, this one is still really, really empty. But um, then I got some um, of the colored Sharpie pens. And so, I've been, I started using those. So yeah, um, like I said, this one is really empty and a lot of this is just um, writing. I did that little drawing there and some verses and this girl, I actually put her in my Bible also. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of Bible journaling, but this is kind of kind of become sort of like Bible journaling to me because I'll write verses and stuff and I'll have pictures or, you know, whatever. Just kind of an artistic outlet. Um, and then we have May. Um, and I really just, I love these books. And so I'm excited to be able to look back even now. Um, like, see, sometimes I'll just put a quote on there and it's super simple. Um, I don't always have the nicest handwriting, um, but it's, it's meaningful to me. And so that's what these booklets have become for me. And I did get to go to Michael's um, while I was away and I got one of their little leather, um, what are they? Midori things um, to keep them in instead of my flimsy little fabric one. Um, I like this one a lot. And so I have like this one, I have June's um, Daisy Dory in here. And then I still have the ones that I made for each of my boys that I write just different things in. Um, and then this one was the craft one that came with the book, it was blank, and I just put that on the front. But that was a cute little quote. And so that's kind of more my personal little journal. Um, here's another one for one of my boys. And yeah, so I have three, three, one for each of my boys. And then I have the extra one because we get them a month ahead of time. So I have July's in the back also. Um, so yeah, so that's how my Midori is now. Um, while, let's see, while I was gone, I also ordered the Illustrated Faith um, You're Beautiful devotional that was written by um, Valerie Wieners. Um, her, her last name's not Wieners anymore. It's Massey, I think, because um, she just recently got married. But, whoops. Anyways, um, so yeah, this was the stamp set that came with it. I absolutely love, love, love this, this stamp set. And I actually haven't even had a chance to use it because I didn't have my 
ink with me, which I could have bought some, but I just never did. Um, so it came with some washi. It came with a devotional, but I was so blessed by it that I actually passed it on to someone else. Um, so I don't have that anymore, but then it came with this pink ink that I haven't used yet either. And it came with this cute little sticker. And also it came with some little, um, more of these like little card things that have like Bible verses and stuff, but those are in my Bible. So yeah. So yeah, that was fun. That was kind of my happy mail. And then the other thing that I did get while I was gone that I was so, so stoked about, like when I seen that this was coming out, I had to have it. Um, and I still have a message on here from a couple days ago, but it's the Heidi Swap, um, oops, yeah, the Heidi Swap light box. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby. I used a 40% off coupon. Um, and I've just been obsessed with getting the different inserts, like the different fonts and the little icons and things. And so, yeah, I just love this. By the way, Finding Dory is amazing if you haven't seen it. You have to go see it. Like, I we watched it two nights ago. Yeah, like the night before last. And I want to go see it again. It's so, so stinking cute. So, I got that and I just kind of got the basic things at first. And then now I have this whole little container that I was like, okay, I need a container to hold all this stuff. So, I got two packs of the basic letters because... I've like right when I bought the thing it doesn't come with any letters so I only bought one pack of these but there were things that I wasn't able to spell because I needed multiples of certain letters so I recommend buying two if you haven't if you're planning on buying them um, I got the mini letters and you do have to have the little insert which is actually in my light box right now but to be able to hold these miniature ones so I got the mini black ones and the mini blue ones and this is all stuff that I've gotten over the last six months. I didn't like go and get all this stuff all at once, but um, I got this really cute font. This was a Michael's exclusive, I think. And then I think this one is too. The little marquee letters, so I got those. Um, I Just the other day I bought this pack and I don't have the packaging for it anymore, but it's the one that has happy and birthday celebrate and every day in it because it was my birthday a few days ago and speaking of that I know a few of you guys wrote on my scrappy hour Facebook page and told me happy birthday and I want to thank you for that I appreciate that I rarely ever get on there but um yeah whoops and then I did get this pack of icons that has like little words like and for um, it's got like the hashtag and these cute little things, um, quotation marks, the, like, you know, with, from, like, or, ah, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so those are nice so that you don't actually have to spell out those little words. Um, and it, you can fit more on there, which is nice. Plus I just like their little bit of flair. And then I got the emojis one. I was kind of sad that they didn't have the little poo emoji on here though. I really hope that they make that. <laughs> um, and then this one I got, it has like ice cream cones, glasses, puppies, balloons, a fan. Um, it has like boom, some stars, different things. There's a few more that I want, but I've honestly started thinking like, I love the ones that she makes, but I'm really hoping, I thought I saw somewhere that she was going to start making little, just the little inserts that are blank where you can make your own, but I haven't seen any of it, any of that stuff yet. So maybe it was just my imagination, but it would honestly be really easy to make your own. Um, and so that's actually something that I would like to do. Um, so you would basically just need to purchased like some acetate some like the the little mini letters are thinner they're like a thin acetate but then the bigger ones are a thicker kind of I don't know if they're acrylic or what they are really but 
Anyways, they're a little bit thicker, but you could use acetate. You could use, I mean, if you were desperate, you could even use like reuse packaging for things. But like, um, anyways, so I was thinking I could do, <clears throat> excuse me, since my middle son loves Batman, I was thinking I might do like a little Batman one um, and just do different ones like that. I know obviously Heidi Swap is amazing. Like she is probably my favorite, my all time favorite designer for crafting and scrapbooking supplies. Um, plus she's a fellow Utah. So, <laughs> um, anyways, um, but I, I thought it would be awesome to just be able to make your own and I have a silhouette. So it'd be really, really easy. You just use vinyl. If you have a Cricut, um, I mean, heck you could even use stickers if you wanted to, it would, you know, if you don't have a machine, but, um, that's something that I would, that I'm looking into doing. Um, cause I think it would be fun. And then like my baby, he's eight months old now and growing like a weed. He's trying to crawl. Um, and he's just so awesome, but I'm doing a, like a lumberjack themed, um, party for his first, blah, first birthday, his first birthday. So I thought like, you know, little icons like an ax or like wood or, um, cause sometimes even, you know, what would be cool that I just thought of, I think I have a Hambly screen print that is a wood grain and I could cut it down to size and use that like as a background and then put letters on top of that is a good idea. I might do that. You could like, yeah, like the acetate, like the Hanley screen prints or the other acetate little things that companies make, you could use those in there. You just have to cut them down to fit in the little slot. Um, I really like that idea. <laughs> I feel brilliant right now. Um, so yeah, I might do that for his birthday, but Anyways, um, I could do like a little bear or um, just so many different things. There's so many cool ideas for the light box. And I really want to get the little marquee frame, um, the black one that goes around it. But right now I'm just having so much fun with the inserts and stuff that I'm just going to leave it as it is right now. Um, and yeah, maybe if I get extra money sometime, I'll get, excuse me, I'll get that. But anyways, so yeah, that's... Pretty much, oh wait, no, for my birthday. I went to a scrapbook store here and I hadn't seen this before, but I'm really, really excited about it. So I don't know, for those of you who know me in person, I love to do parties. Like for my boys' parties, I like to go all out. I like to make themed parties, like with the, from the snacks to the decorations to everything. I make everything. I love, love, love doing that. Um, and I've wanted to create those giant rosettes. I, I know I could buy them. I know that We Are Memory Keepers sells them. Um, and they're really cool. I think it's We Are Memory Keepers. Anyways, um, but I was at the scrapbook store and I saw this. It's the from the DIY party line. And it's, what's it called? The Fringe and Scoreboard. So basically it's like a trimmer or scoring thing but it has more than one little thing I think it has four or five let's see one two three four. yeah I think four so it cuts four things at a time or scores them four at a time so you can do it quicker and so you can make like the little lanterns really quick or the fringe or the um, rosettes so I'm really really excited about this I haven't even opened it as you can see because all the rest of my stuff is packed, my paper and all that stuff. So I haven't even had a chance to play with it yet. But I am really, really excited about that. Um, so yeah, anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Give you guys an update, let you know that I'm alive, I'm okay. Um, and, you know, yeah. And just, um, I wanted to share like what I was doing in my little Daisy Dory things. Because, um it's really, really helped me to not just as I write the things, like to, as I'm going through them to encourage me, um, but to go back and read them again is really encouraging too. So it's been really cool. And, um, I don't really, I don't really know how I came to that. Like I know some people use them as planners and I think that's kind of what they're intended for. <laughs> um, 
but I'm just not a planner person. I tried, I really wanted to be, but I'm just not the type of person who writes down the things that I need to do, like on a calendar and everything. I just don't take the time to do that. So um, anyways, so it's really cool. Oh, I, you probably noticed I got a few new tattoos, but I don't have a whole lot of time to share those. <laughs> ah. Yeah, anyways. Um, so I'm about to be out of memory. So I just wanted to say hi. I love you guys. Thank you guys for sticking around. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Maybe with a vlog or something like that. I've thought about maybe doing a video with my hubby or something fun, just kind of out of the blue, but, um, we'll see. Um, he's okay with the concept, but when it actually comes down to doing it, we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.